We had we're two zero on the silent. So you know what? Let's go for three zero on the silent. What a beautiful run. So random rare relic is really good, but the curse eh upgrading the card is not bad with neutralize. But that that one was a re-rolling boss relic, and I think if the options are not good, we should re-roll the boss relic. The rare relic could be good, right? It could be a TC top again. <laughs> could be Giria. Could be Birdface Urn. Gambling chip, ice cream. I think I'm gonna go reroll a boss relic. Let me just see the path real quick. The path has a lot of early elites, which I don't really like. I like this path because it has two elites on the later end, but the elites could kick my ass. And it's only two rests. Over here we have a late elite, but there's three elites right back to back. So if we get a good rare relic, we can take care of them. If we don't get a good rare relic, then it's not that great. This path is okay, but again, it's only two rest, so it's actually not that great. I get Philosopher's Stone. I can handle with Philosopher's Stone. It's fine. I can also just upgrade Neutralize and just call it that, right? I call it at that. That's a really bad map in general. There's only two rests. Like, the only one that has three rests is this path right here. So I think we're going to have to succumb to the fact that we're not going to get more than two rests. So we'll just get two rests and take the safer path, which is Elite into Late Elite. As opposed to, like, unless we get like a really good start, we can go for three elites and get three rests, but it, it looks doubtful. Did I get the potion beast? I actually don't mind potion beast because potion beast is good for uh, elite hunting stuff. I'm trying to think what rare relic would be good. Let's go for rare relic. Okay. That's better than a Vajra. Okay, I like this. The only problem is we got pain, so we got to discard that. But, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. We get some discards to take care of the pain, and we are on our way to having a really nice... Strength deck. Pain's the worst curse, though, I, I, I would say. For the Simon. So, Cloak and Dagger works really well with the... We'll do Flying Me, but, um... Remove the pain, but then we won't have as much strength. Okay, fine. So we'll go, we'll take curses, just not pain, right? <laughs> Give me curses, just not pain. That that's the that's the that's the goal here. I'm still happy with Dubu Doll. It's still a really good relic, but yeah, I think it's worth removing because all that HP loss makes a big difference in Ascension 15. Huge difference. I'm gonna eat my burrito a little bit, guys, as we play. Let's get some energy. Hmm. So Sneaky Strike was interesting. Sneaky Strike was a nice card for us, but we don't have as much discard as last time. Mmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, we're going for the lead. Region Pop. Let's go for it. Season start. I hate this elite, but you know what? We got strength pop. Like with like we have a we have a uh, a Vajra pretty much do do right? And we heal up a little bit. We should be fine. That's a really good turn. I mean, that's ideal hand. When I get all strikes when he's not attacking, that's amazing. Wow, we got... Oh, this is going really well. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. It's going really well. Okay, except for this one. But you know what? I'll take it. Take 15 damage. I'll take it. Very nice. Question card region pot again. Okay. Uh, dagger throw. As if we're gonna be getting curses with Dubu Doll, Dagger throw becomes better. We're thinking about the future, right? Dagger throw becomes better to help manage the curses if we're going for Dubu Doll. But right now, that's the Infinite Blades. We're going against the Hexagos, so we need Malays, hopefully, or Cow Traps. But Infinite Blades just because we're getting strength, and that's a nice way to dump the strength. The runs are going good. So we had a few losses in the beginning, but. We're on a 2-0 streak right now, on the silent. So this is going to be for 3-0 on the silent. I'm a fan of the flex. Mummified hand. Okay, that's very interesting. 
Should we go for this elite or go for I'm gonna skip. Ooh, this is not. This could be interesting. Let me see. Yeah, we're fine. I'm gonna region by here for this fight, and then we're gonna go in for the elite pretty healthy. I think we got through the worst one. Oh, I forgot about one fan hin. So yeah, we're we're two zero right now in the silent, and um, we had, we ended on a really nice run. We had a um, unceasing top sort of infinite deck. It was getting cock blocked by tactician, but I was getting a lot of value out of unceasing top. Okay, another region pot. Wow. So I messed up there. I forgot. <laughs> To get the last tick of the region pot, but it's okay. So again, Dagger Throw comes up again and is saying, hey, you might want to manage your curses. Or I can take Predator. Okay, this would have been a good store. If I had money, this would have been a good store. You know, Medkit, I love Medkit so much. I wish I wish I had the money. How do we feel about Panacea? So I've been taking Panacea on the Ironclad. But, you know, Panacea could be good for a lot of Act 2. But it's better on Ironclad because you can flex. I guess Panacea works well with the Wraith form. I can take it prepared for the eventual curses, or I can say, you know what, I'm going to skip or remove a strike. One of the two. Let's remove a strike. Now, I hope I have enough damage for the... Hexaghost. Part of me feels like I won't. And that's not a good feeling. Backlip for free? No. Because we're gonna draw into uh We're gonna draw into cards we want next turn. Uh we're gonna get lethal, so let's go ahead and do survivor. And I'll I'll be honest, I would say this is the wrong time for me to be using the region pot. <laughs> so if we have guaranteed lethal next turn, I could actually just block 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 and just try to get one last tick of the region pot. Let's see. So we have... Uh, I might as well just kill him, right? Because... Yeah. I want to get one last take, but it's okay. Vajra, so now we got two strength. Okay, so Malaise is what I'm talking about. There's a few things we could do here. Malaise is really good against the Hexaghost, and I think it's just worth it, because it's so good against Act 2 as well. Uh, Finisher gives me more damage, but yeah, Malaise is the play for sure. And... There's the Wally Plants. Okay, we'll do Wally Plants. Um... I don't know. I think my laser is going to carry us in this fight. Yes, so artifact blocks the one of the dex losses. Hmm. So, piercing well is really good. Just in general, but backstab's a nice way to get damage. So backstab's not good in this fight, boss fights, but it's good in the hallway fights for Act 2. But piercing will just makes a lot of sense. We're gonna upgrade Malaise. Malaise is a godsend. The only way Malaise is better if I get it on the first turn or the second turn. There we go. G G. We still need to push for damage, right? So we don't have any scaling. No no deadly poison. No shuriken, no kunai. So we still need to do some damage. We don't have terror either. But we do have just two strength. So two strength could do some stuff. But now when you get turns like this. I'm a little worried. We'll hold on to piercing well. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's more like it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's more like it. So I can push for damage or I can defend. Okay. 
All right, so Pigeon was gonna be really good on this execute turn, but now we're gonna be getting burns, and this is when it gets really spicy in a bad way. Oh, we don't even need piercing wheel. Okay. I gotta push 70 to 60 damage before the burns eat me alive. But we still have a lot of life. There they are, the burns are coming. They'll be coming around the mountain when they come. They'll be coming around the mountain. Why am I holding on to piercing? I should probably be pushing full damage. Yeah, this is one of those turns where you know what? I'm gonna take the you know actually we have lethal next turn. For what? Oh, for... Okay. We did it. We got through it. Okay, so now we gotta get some good curses in our deck. Burst and Venom. Tools of Trade Glass Knife. So Glass Knife is very good front loader damage with the two strength that I already have. Burst could be good with Malaise. Burst Backflip. Burst Piercing Whale. Burst Deflect. Tools of the Trade is kind of just to give me more of a card draw and activates discard mechanics. And then Venom gives me some kind of scaling a little bit by, by applying poison. And I'm gonna go for Glass Knife. Okay, so we got Energy Relics. Uh, here's a few things we could do. So my deck is not good for Snake Away, but I'll tell you this. I have Predator, and Predator is good enough to make Snake Away work. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm ruining the streak. I can just feel it. I'm ruining the streak. Grievous. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. I'm already feeling the streak. It's, it's crumbling. It's crumbling. Mm. No, it's fine. So we can go for late elite there and an, a late shop or two elites and a I like this path. We're fine. We have mummified hand. Uh you're right, you're right, mummified hand. So I just love predators so much when it comes to Sneko Eye. But that probably is not the best reason for me to be doing that. Predator plus blue time is crazy. Yeah, Predator is, is influencing me a little bit. So acrobatics from more card draw is always really nice. The only problem with acrobatics is that it may not be free, but I mean one cost, but calming jacks for more strength. The thing about jacks is that it's not gonna be So that's gonna be four strength in total. What's that purple platinum? How you doing? <clears throat> the only problem with this is that it not, may not be zero cost. But four strength is nothing to scoff at. I'm gonna decline. All right. Okay, so, so yes, yes, yes. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's a very good first turn. We just need something like terror. We need some other stuff. Uh huh. Hmm. Doing pretty good, man. Good to see you. Alright. That's not bad, guys. Yeah, if I get bullets on, that'd be amazing. Alright, chosen, no problem. So, Wraith Form is fantastic in the Sneko Eye deck because. Ooh, we want to find things that, like. So, Terror is really good. Leg Sweep is very good. But because we have Wraith Form, I don't mind the weaken as much. I might just go for Terror. Because that could be really good. Ooh. So Leg Sweep might be cheaper, though. So let's see what we're looking at. <laughs> looking at the Collector. Ah, uh, Cloak and Dagger. No, so not Cloak and Dagger is not as good. Mmm. Let's do Terror. We need Malaise for this fight. There's the Malaise.
Okay, 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 okay. You gonna wanna sleep, Gleb? Alright. Take care, Gleb. Terror Predator. That's a little bit of a hit. Oh well. Get a few more curses, yes. I gotta get more curses. What'd you miss? You missed an unceasing top deck, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll do reform now. So now we should be a okay with reform. Predator. Okay. So balancing flash becomes really good. I'm going to upgrade Predator just because I'm using it a lot. Bounty Flask is next. Uh, so we can go for this Elite and then this Elite, or we can skip that Elite. I like going for Elite now. We can handle this. We can handle that. It's only taking one damage, and we already got one of them killed. I mean, that's really nice. And I would say this is probably one of the harder elites for me. So, Bounty Blast is that bad here. I gotta take one damage, but... Sneko is even more adventure, exactly. It's, it's even more adventure. But it's adventure we, we can get behind. So, if that hits Raid Form, that'd be amazing. Okay. Probably should have hit raid form, but this guy's dead anyway, so never mind. GG. It's not raid form. Raid form just guarantees the win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Easy. Pennips, okay. Eviscerate. Okay, eviscerate it is. Yes, it's a good turn. Very good turn. That pennips stacked up. Flying is free. So piercing well is free as well. But that I mean, I guess it's time to look for like a big acrobatics, potentially. Uh, okay, we'll just do malaise then. So using terror already. Ooh, but predator is so good. So is wraith form and eviscerate and well in plans. How can we lose when we have. Wraith form in the deck. Mm hmm. This does 20 damage three times. Oh my god. Pendant Vivis is crazy. Sneaky Strike is what I'm talking about. Sneaky Strike can be an energy gain with Sneko Eye. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going for another elite. This is going to be nutty. Let's take a look at this, guys. So I could do Malaise straight up, which probably seems good, or I could do Bouncing Flats and then Malaise. I like that better. Okay, guys. Alright, I'm excited. I've been wanting Snake Away with Sneaky Strike for a long time now. We just need to get some discard. Because right now, it's not doing too much. It's a little more expensive, it's more expensive than it should be. Alright. That wasn't a good turn for it. But it could be an energy gain. Okay, okay. We just need Raid Form. Oh no, we need a raid form. Now we might be just dead because I didn't get the raid form. I, the draw pop was really bad. We need a raid form. Ooh, wait, Predator's doing some damage. There right, we win. <laughs> gambling chip. If gambling chip is the nuts, guys. With root of holes is good as well. The gambling chip is the nuts because it allows you to just take away. Ooh, nightmare should be good with Snickle Eye too. Ah, oh, it's going all over the place. Holy, okay. Anchor is really good for the first turn. Who are we going against? The Collector. There's so many good things going on now. I can remove. 
Another bit of Blur is a really good card. Can't really t patch that up. Riddle Falls again. And let's go ahead and remove a strike. All right, guys. This is going to be... I should probably remove a slice, actually, now that I think about it. I want to show you guys, though, the fact that we got these... Um, curses. Yes! Doodle coming through. I'll take a look. So, look. Eviscerate becomes... Oh, my God, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Eviscerate becomes free. Oh, we have to take a look at this. Oh my god. This is for 3 0, baby. This is for 3 0. Let me take a look at what Ben Ragon has to say. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Dagger spray for some AoE. Uh, I've been finding the sound such super hard. Lately, I've been thinking about stacking powers, passive poison, and defense, but that's really slow, especially for certain elites. Any advice? Okay, so for certain elites, you need front loaded damage, right? You need um, things like die, 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 or like backstabs and stuff. I would say avoid elites if all you have is like a turtle deck with noxious fumes, because the slavers could mess you up. And if you are going to go for elites, make sure you have things like fire potions and stuff that accelerate your damage. But uh, what you're describing basically is a deck where. You have front-loaded damage. I mean, you have a... You're describing a deck where you have... One sec. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nightmare, wait a second. Wait, this must be nutty. What if I do Nightmare Bouncing Flask? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Nightmare Bouncing Flask? Or I could do Nightmare on the... Eviscerate Predator. Let's just do Nightmare Bouncing Flask. Fuck it. Let's have Ray Form. I can also do uh, Nightmare on the Ray Form and never die. So there's Ray Form. So now this means I could just go ahead and start doing whatever the hell I want. This is why Ray Form is so good. Because I'm going to kill him by the time Ray Form is like. By the time Ray Form is over, I'm going to be doing so many, so much damage. It's insane. This is why Ray Form is so good, guys. Look at Predator. Let's just see this. Ah, Eviscerate I want to hold on to. Because Eviscerate could be really nutty. Especially with the Pen Nib about to come up and the Doo Doll. Eviscerate is about to be lethal. <clears throat> I want to show you guys Eviscerate. Okay. So Eviscerate is doing that much damage. And we just won. GG. Uh, easiest bot of my life? Easiest boss of my life? Maybe? Maybe? Sneko has come to life. So when you have Sneko I get expensive cards. Get things, well we have Dubu Doll as well, so we're also getting strength stuff as well. So we can take another Raid Form and never take, never die, because it works with Mouth at Hand and it just makes me not die. Or another Nightmare and just go crazy with the Nightmare. Like Nightmare Malay, Nightmare Predator, Nightmare whatever. You know what? Nightmare. Curse Key. You know what? That's perfect. So we have Dubu Doll, we want the curses. I embrace the curses. Going against Time Meter. This should be interesting. Let's go for one elite and one late shop. Digging it. Digging it. So whatever we don't like, I don't like any of this. Anything that costs get rid of the whole hand. Okay, so sneaky strike is an energy gain. Just take a look at this. Oh. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So I can nightmare wraith form. I can nightmare nightmare. Let's do wraith form. Nightmare Blur for free. Now, what's interesting about Sneko Eye, guys, I want you to see, is that it retains the costs. So next turn, I'm going to have three blurs for zero. This is... Oh, I was wrong. It retained the cost before. Uh, forget what I said. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Look at Riddle Fools. It's insane. Cloak and Dagger? Ah! What's up, Reloading? How you doing? So, Rid of Holes is fine. We actually want to look for Eviscerate with Yummy Chip. Ah, we didn't find it. So, this can make Predator free, which it did. Yes. Oh, this is doing lethal. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just get excited. I just like Snake Eye. It's so fun. Mummified Hand is doing some work. I have a lot of synergies. This deck is working out really well. 
ray form of this ray blur. Sticky strike could be good. How you doing, Pookie Pookie? Kill you. Yeah, peace out. Uh huh. So, acrobatics into the sneaky strike energy game. Let's do it. Although, it's how it is normally. Kill you. Kill you. Smell you later. GG. <clears throat> another well laid plans, which is Mumbo Hand, or another sneaky strike. Another sneaky strike. So, sneaky strike, we already talked about this, can be nutty. Mmm. Let's remove another strike. Removal all day, baby. Whoa, that's really bad. So this would have been good. So I have a feeling, guys, when you have two or more curses in your deck, this event has more chances of proc. Only when I have two or more curses does this event proc. I'm not going to do it just because we like Dubudol. But it's good that to know that that was there. Uh, at this point, we want to upgrade... Like, while they plan so we can hold more cards, but the while they plan is not that good with, um, Snackle White because the costs, you know, could be random. I would say we make Acrobatics more card draw, or we make it so that Rid of Holes does more damage. But at this point, I don't really have big upgrade priorities. Let's do more card draw, because everything else, the cost gets upgraded or whatever. Wraith Form is a good upgrade as well. And the question is, do we go for two Elites or one Elite? How are we feeling? Two elites, one elite. Two elites. I answer myself. Oh, guys, so Sneaky Strike's gonna be good here. Eviscerate is free. Oh. Only problem with this is that we need Balancing Flask, because these guys... These guys are thornies. Hit Bouncing Flask. Ah, so here's what we're gonna do. Nightmare Bouncing Flask, and that's how we're gonna win. Always moving that damn curses. I know, I love that event. What? This is not what I wanted to see. This is not what I wanted to see. I'll be honest. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage here, so we're definitely going for one elite now. In light of this uh, turn of Sneckle Wide messing me up, we can only do one elite now. This is bad. This is real bad. Sneaky Strike is an energy game, but I can't really use it. I guess I could. If you Nightmare, zero cost Nightmare. So I thought it retained the cost, but it doesn't. Ooh, Bouncing Flash. There we go. Bouncing Flash again. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Oh, it does. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, two elites, right? This might be bad. Uh-oh. So, Eviscerate is really nice. I want to get the terror out, but the thing is, it's kind of expensive. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, take a look at this, guys. Wait a second. 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 So six tricks energy gain right now. Wait a second. Guys, you have to see this turn coming up. I shouldn't shrink pot. This looks... I th if it works the way I think it does... Oh my god. What have I just... Guys, tell me what's about to happen. Clip this. Get the clip ready. Get the clip ready. Mom, get the camera. Oh, that's underwhelming. Didn't even kill him? Hey, eh, cut the clip. Cut the clip. Mm. 
Wraith form or just Predator Bouncing Flask? That's still, that's still nice to see, right? Nice. Wow. Easiest elite of my life. Curse. Yes. We have even more curses. Yes. 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 Oh, again? You're lying. So I can do Nightmare, Nightmare Wraith Farm and that makes this fight a joke, but here's what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to Sneaky Strike first, right? Let's get rid of the Decay. I might, I, no, so Nightmare Riddle of Holes is not good. I mean, it's nice to have those in the deck, but the problem is it's not going to do that much for him, for me. So I'll just do it to have it in the deck. But unfortunately, he's going to be intangible. Oh, Eviscerate. So I definitely want to hold on to Eviscerate. Oops, I just messed up the I just messed up the um Pendib. Uh-huh. So Nightmare again is really nice, but it doesn't allow me. The clutchest Wraith form I've ever had in my whole life. I was on the brink of death and Wraith form just said, here you go, my friend. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. That was way too cl close for comfort. I don't want to go through that again. Uh-huh, that's really bad. So, you know, Bag of Marbles could be really good first turn. I should have removed, but I like Bag of Marbles because we're having some really explosive first turns. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Energy gain. Yeah, yes. Only problem with the energy gain was well, actually really nice because we get a big malaise, which is perfect against this guy, and we get pendant ready. Uh, I guess we use... So Nightmare Bouncing Flash is the nuts. So let's do this, guys. I can never Nightmare, but look at this. Look at this. This is really nice as well. Like, this is... Oh, isn't that... That's why Snake Eye is so beautiful. Look at that value. Oh, it's so nice. It's Craigasm right there. <laughs> Cut the... <laughs> Thank you, Trickle. Okay, check us out. Eviscerate, no problem. GG. I love this. I like Region Pot too. More so than Weaken, I would say. Sneaky Strike again. Let's go for Sneaky Strike. Like, as many Sneaky Strikes as we can. Uh, let's upgrade the Wraith form so it lasts longer. So if we do Nightmare Wraith form, we can make it last the rest of the fight. Uh, and more curses. Wait, more curses. That's really good for Duvidol. I have five strengths starting off with. And on top of that, Wraith, I can discard with the uh, Gambling Ship. And we have enough card draw with Snuggle Eye that it doesn't even bother me. So we got Nightmare Blur or Nightmare Bouncing Flask. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. So, whoa, geez. So, Nightmare Eviscerate is also extremely good. Same thing with Riddle of Holes. This is insane. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go all in on you, okay? We're going to have some fun. I should do Strength Pot. Why did I not do Strength Pot? Oh, no. Oh, no. 
All that potential. Gone. I forgot Shrink Pot. That would've been so much more. Ah, that would've been so much more damage. Okay. So... Oh, I should do Terror, shouldn't I? Huh. Alright, so we don't want to die here. We're not going to die, but... If I do Terror, do I push for lethal? I don't have enough... I don't have enough, um... Time on the counter. Like, if I, if I had enough time, I could do Terror, push for lethal, but... If I did Terror first, maybe I could have done it with 1-2... Hmm. No, I'm not going to Terra now because he's about to get his form changed, so I want to save Terra for the second form. I just want to save life here. I don't want to take too much damage. Do the math with Pendib. Okay, so with Pendib, it's going to be... So with Terra, this is going to be 13 times 5, right? Which is 75. And then with Pendib, it's going to be... Okay, guys, 37 minute victory. Do we all snick away? Tell me that's not a great deck. And I'll, I'll keep you, keep in mind, guys, I'm 3 0 with Silent. Do we go for 4, 5, 6 0 Silent? I feel like Silent's doing some good stuff for us. So, how about we do another Silent? Buckle my belt. Yeah, the reason why it's unbuckled is because it was actually putting too much pressure. I wasn't expecting to show you guys that.